Sorry, I got back from the gym, so I'm not like too fabulous or anything, and it took a while for my overlay to catch up. And Jen's unicorn cat is like being really creepy in the back. Let me scoot a little closer. I know the light's super bright. That's intentional for when I hold up items. And Wolfie! I'll tell you what I'm up to. I just got July's Owl Crate. Um, not sure why my chat started over other than the fact that I switched screens. I gotta work on that. But we, we did the June one together, so I figure why not unbox this one together. Um, I think I, yeah, I did post in the Discord a few tips for people who are following these unboxings. Let me just jump over to that channel now. It's the Books and Whimsy channel. So July's theme is A Date with Destiny. Um, I don't know too much about it. Again, like last time, I try to hide from some of the spoilers. They do give hints as to what may be included in some of these crates. And sometimes they'll even just straight up tell you a few of the items to get those people who are not subscribers to perhaps just purchase, you know, a one-time box, which is an option. Um, but this one in particular, they said, you know, if you like Star Wars, if you like Hunger Games, this will probably be up your alley, which, you know, I really liked the newer Star Wars. I like the old and I like the originals, all, all nine of them. I know people have their issues with it. I'm just glad we're still getting Star Wars. But Hunger Games, I also was a fan of. I was like, this will probably be something I like. So let's check it out. Um, and again, Owl Code's awesome because you don't have to get the subscription. You can just wait and see when they post old boxes after people tell you what's inside. You can buy one box. And you can always pause your subscription if you're not into that month's theme and then restart it again. So you get what you pay for and you don't have to take what you don't want. Owl Crate is not a sponsor. I'm just doing this because I like them. My sister turned me on to this because she's been a subscriber. Um, I think I have a referral code that'll pop up in the chat. So like if people are interested in checking it out, just click, wait, I'm pointing the wrong, click the link that will pop in the chat somewhere throughout the stream. And I also have it on my Discord. Um, I figure though, you know, not everybody can afford a subscription to blind boxes or food boxes. So since this is something that I, I was getting for myself, I kind of got it for myself as a birthday gift, um, a six month subscription, I figure why not show other people who maybe can't get it for themselves, they can still enjoy the unboxing and see what all the items are. Um, you're trying to be secrets? Meta Kirby's in the other room and she's trying so hard to be quiet. Oh, so my favorite and least favorite is shredded, shredded papers that make a mess. But I get it, it's more eco-friendly packaging. So this says, Hoot Hoot, Guide to Unboxing. If you give two hoots, snap, share, and snuggle up. You can photograph and film your unboxing experience, which I'm doing right now. Share and show off your treats, which I always do in my Discord. Um, and snuggle up and enjoy your items. So that's what the inside always looks like. It's always got a little message to you. Uh, pointing the wrong direction, as Meg says. That is what's up. So here's our July card. Last time we realized that they give us little info cards with every package. So the artwork is really cool. It says Owl Crate. And I will try to put it in an angle to not catch too much of a glare. And we'll allow it to focus here and there. Alright. Date with Destiny. Spoiler warnings. So this is all the items you get in the crate, and it gives you a few bits of info about each thing, the artists, where you can purchase more of their goods, different companies that collaborated on this. So let's unbox, and I'll, I'll try to, whatever I pull out, find it on here so I'm not reading things out of order for you guys. Let's uh, move some of this paper. Oh, this looks good already. <laughs> Oh my glob. Okay, so if you're a Harry Potter fan, right off the bat, it says, The the Boy Who Lived. And I will just read that for you real quick. And it says, We hope you use this mug to brew up a little caffeinated magic outside of the potions classroom, battered textbook containing mysterious handwritten notes not included. Designed with love by artist Kara Kozik. Dishwasher and microwave safe. Fantastic. Luckily, that's the first item on the card. Yes, it is cute. It's super cute. So you were not aware? No, I am not aware of the products ahead of time. Um, it is all going to be a surprise for the both of us. Sometimes you, you know, depending upon the person opening the box, it may not be something they want. And that's the best part. It's all really good, high-quality items. So 
If it's not something that's your cup of tea, you can always gift it to somebody. And they're just cool aesthetic gifts that fit the theme of every month and the book that's usually included. Um, I'm going to be quiet here and there, Meg and Meta, because I'm trying to figure out how to do something on Discord. That is okay. Um, do you feel like the hints for the month helped you guess what's in it? Yes and no. I feel like more when they tell you if you're a fan of this and this, you will like the crate. More in the sense where they've matched my personality, but not maybe matched like Hunger Games or Star Wars. This ma will probably match my personality so far based on opening it. Plus, most people who read books enjoy tea or coffee or something, so a mug's always a good thing. Also, Jen, I'm sorry, I own another mug. So it says, we hope you enjoy brewing up some blah, 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 caffeinated liquid. We already read that. We think a certain potions professor would approve of this latest addition to your ongoing series from Kara Kozik. So let's see what the mug looks like. Just about looking at things. I like opening and looking at things. One of my favorite things to do when I shop is to just look at things. It's free. It doesn't cost me anything. It only takes as much time as I want it to. So some nice little bubble wrap. Thank you for taking care of the items for us. Oh my gosh! Okay, first, Owl Crate exclusive design. I know it's not totally focusing on the words there, but that means you can only get this from Owl Crate. So I'm turning the mug in my hands, and what it is, is it's a painting that starts with Hogwarts Castle, shifts into the potion classroom, winding staircase and portraits, to Dumbledore, all the way back out of the castle, and you can see the phoenix, and hang on, I'll just show you now what I've just described. If I can, there's a good focus point. We will slowly turn this mug so you guys can see all the artwork. This is just adorable, and I love it. I'm trying to decide whether or not I'm going to keep it. I do enjoy Harry Potter. It's a shame that, you know, we'll never know who the author was and that it was all written anonymously. But uh, I am a fan. I also know a little girl. Well, I know a bigger little girl. My, my sister, who's in her 20s, she's not too much of a little girl. She's an adult. And then I know another little girl who's just getting into Harry Potter for the first time who would also like that. Oh, I'm sorry, I gotta look to the left here to see this, the words. Um, yeah, I've seen so much so much creative stuff, so I'm trying to figure out how to use the mobile something to add an emoji next to the text. Meta Kirby's face dropped because I have another mug. Um, however, I'm not sure what you'll be able to do. Yeah, a lot of the stuff you can't do until you're on a computer, Wolfie. So I'm sorry for that. It is nice. That's alright. Don't worry if you're lost. That's what YouTube and Google are for. So I'm setting the mug aside. So I'm gonna fish around for the next item and hopefully not spray all, like look at how tight that was packed. That's where I just pulled the mug. So there's a lot of paper in here. Okay, I'm grabbing a metallic disc. Is this paper clips? It says, hope is the only thing stronger than fear. At an angle again, so you can see the clips in there. I will create exclusive. So let's go to the little info card. That's not what we. Hang on, I gotta go down the list. I think I skipped. Haha! -ha, keep a small, hopeful reminder on your desk with this arrow shaped paperclip set. Its tin features a design inspired by the Hunger Games created by At Paper Backbones. At Paper Backbones. So just take one of these out. They are arrows. How cool is that? You can mark your book pages without damaging them. And it's actually my high school mascot. We were the arrows. So that's pretty dang cool. If I was like a school teacher there, I'd totally like mark my papers with that. Just saying everybody who might be a teacher at my former high school. Because you're probably all fans. You're probably all fans. Okay, I'm going to lift the paper out. So this will be the messy part that gives me anxiety. Oh, oh. oh what are you? Hang on, I'm tangled on the paper because there's many strings. Oh, shimmery, magical, delightfulness. Foxway Diner Apron, another Owl, Clay, Owl Crate exclusive. You can only get it in the box. First, this is a shimmering night sky mesh. And let's read the card and I'll open it up. This one is... 
Whether you're whipping up a Cabe's water cookie or a Lee, a Ley Line lemon square, this Raven Cycle inspired apron designed by At Paper Backbones will make baking even more bookish. So another At Paper Backbones creation. And I probably shouldn't open this because I don't know if I can get it back in the bag. Uh, or use in case you get lost a lot. That's true. You can do that too, Meta Kirby, with those arrows. So just a little owl crate card stuck in there so we know where we got it. Fate is a very weighty word to throw around before breakfast. All right, so we'll just unfold it a bit. Oh, this is a nice apron. This is like spill resistant, which I totally need. Actually, we'll just... We'll just unfold the whole thing. I thought we can fold it back. So, 300 Fox Way, and you got some tree. Mm, the same quote right there. Fate is a very weighty word to throw around before breakfast. Very cool. Actually, I'm doing a barbecue tomorrow, so I'll probably wear it tomorrow. We're doing Korean barbecue with veggies in my front yard. Be there or be hungry. I was going to say square, but I don't... We don't body shame here. You can be whatever shape you want. All right, moving more paper. Ooh, this is an edible one. This is exactly what that mug was for. Sorry, getting all the paper off. Riddle's Tea Shop, an Owl Crate exclusive Simon Sour Cherry Scones Loose Leaf Tea Blend. And I absolutely love tea. Go. It says on the back, decaf Ceylon tea, which actually I'm running low on Ceylon. I do actually drink that one. Rose hips, hibiscus, apple pieces, natural wild cherry flavor, cherries natural vanilla flavor, gluten-free, sugar-free, nut and dairy-free, a decaf tea. Steep at 212 degrees Fahrenheit for four minutes. Use one tea tablespoon per cup. Tablespoon. From riddlesteashop.com. Free advertising here, folks. Ugh. Come on, camera. Whoop. Okay, well, we'll just read the card. This will Remember, everything we find in the box, we take a photo of and we throw in the Discord. And I'll put down um, who the artist is, what the company is, where you can find it. So Riddle's Tea Shop created this exclusive and yummy Sour Cherry Scones tea blend inspired by Simon Snow's favorite breakfast food in Carry On. If you've... Oops, read that one. Just breaking stuff. Just breaking stuff I just got. That's all. Woo! Barbecue! Oh, and now we have a pin. Decide Your Fate. Monthly Enamel Pin Collection. So, here we go. Let's see if I can get the colors in there. Might have to tilt it a few times. Decide Your Fate. We're gonna read that on the card right now. Jubbly Umph was inspired by the bold cover design of Goddess in the Machine, as well as the main character's starburst birthmark. While creating this month's enamel pin, we chose an equally bold quote from the book to accompany it. So by Jubbly Umph, Goddess in the Machine. Ooh, I actually don't know that book. Probably gonna have to read that one. Oh, cool, guys! This is where the other hint came in. Yo, heckin' cool. So this is a bookmark. I don't need a little card to tell me that. But on this side, starting low, so you can see that there's paint texture on it, we have Rey from Star Wars. And on this side, everyone's favorite heckin' boy, just Adam Driver. That's who it is. See the movie? He's playing himself. It's Adam Driver. Wow, that's really cool. Is this hand paint? Like, there's no way they could mass produce that. Let me read this. Would you align with the Jedi, or are you called towards the dark side? Either way, we think you'll love this Star Wars-inspired, double-sided, force dyad wooden bookmark created by In the Reeds. It's, it's heckin' wood! I don't want to split it. I'm gonna be very- I gotta put it in a book now. I gotta keep that safe. That's really cool. Okay. Here we go. July 2020, Date with Destiny. We get our little magazine that comes with each one. Uh, we learned that the last time. Um, and here it's just going to have information about the artist in the book they've included, Laura Beth Johnson. 
interview with the author. So it's going to have five questions they've asked her and her answers. It's got different um, variants of the cover of her book. So those are the variants. It's also got how you can tag her and follow her on different social media. So Lara Beeth, Beeth. I do know how to read, hence me belonging to a book club. Laura Beth Johnson, just at for Instagram, laurabethjohnson.com or at laurabethwrites at Twitter. Twitter, Twitter. Then we've got, just for fun, crossword puzzles, past books, Riddle's Tea Shop interview with the vendor, so then we can learn about who provided the tea. Um, there's a little question and answer section with them. Um, there's a photo challenge for the month of July that has prizes in August, so you guys should go check that out online. Um, you can follow Owl Crate on Instagram at Owl Crate, Facebook.com slash Owl Crate, uh, and YouTube at Owl Crate TV. And some more other releases they're excited about this month. Ghostwood Stone, Cinderella is Dead, Burn Our Bodies Down, Splinters of Scarlet, and Evercursed. So those are other books they're releasing in different crates this month and through their website. So we put that down and now here's the book. <gasps> There's more stuff under the book! Oh my god! Why are they so nice to me? Oh, I just spilled all my paper. Oh. Decide your fate. Goddess in the machine. No wonder I hadn't heard the book. That's the book that's included. Oh my god, Megan. So, the enamel pin is based on this book. So, Goddess in the Machine, Laura Beth Johnson, who we've just learned about from the magazine. Thank you for the magazine. Decide your fate. Johnson's rich, intelligent world blends sci-fi elements with palace intrigue and swoon-worthy characters in a way that is wholly unique and utterly brilliant. This book will make you laugh, make you fall in love, and then it'll blow your mind. Another review. Utterly inventive and unique. This story has more surprises in store for you than you can imagine. And then if you open it, hang on kids, this is the fun this is why the subscription is worth it. Every book you get is either autographed or initialed by the author themselves. They do a select number of these just for the crates. So she signed this book right inside the cover. So cool. It's actually, it's pretty, it looks like it's going to be a nice, easy on the eyes read. It's a light, lighter page, darker text, pretty fairly spaced, pretty fairly sized with, it's not fully gold on the edges, but it's got the light gold sheen to the edges of the book. It has a good feel to it, very sturdy. So this is a good one to read, a good one to read for anybody who likes to read. It's a good pitch, right? Yeah, that's totally a good pitch for a book. Read that. Um, let's see what else we got. I'm gonna grab these two out just so I can let the paper fall to the bottom. We're gonna throw those away in a bit. All right, so here we learned about this the last month as well. The author normally writes a card to the people who purchase the box just to say, hey, thanks for checking out my stuff. So she says, dear Owl Crate reader, there are a lot of words in Goddess in the Machine. Most of them you'll recognize. Some of them I made up. When Andra wakes from cryonic stasis, she has 1,000 years of language evolution to catch up on. What Andra calls technology, the people of Aaron said. The people of Aaron said call magic. This simple shift in terms causes some massive complications for Andra. While she considers herself an average 22nd century teenager stuck in cryogenic sleep, the Erencendians see her as a sleeping goddess who has woke to, woken to save them all. In developing the dialect of the Erencendians and Jade, their unknown bastard prince, I had to examine several things. The sounds they could physically make, the transformation of words borrowed from the past, the shared experiences that would devolve into slang, and shorthand. The character's reality shapes their language, but in turn the language shapes their reality much like the language we use shapes ours. This is a story that focuses on the dichotomy between science and magic, past and future, divine and mundane. By merely changing the words we use, we can change the world around us. Andra might be your average teenager, but she's also the goddess in the machine. Decide your fates. Or Beth Johnson. That's a very cool and very good description of her book. She notes her material well, because she wrote it. 
Uh, ooh, we've got the sneak peek. Okay, this is the sneak peek for August, everybody. Are you excited? I'm excited. Okay. The theme of the August box is written in the stars. Oh, there's a telescope and stars and a globe of constellations and crystals with plants and little books and potion bottles and a moth and all kinds of neat things. And it says at the bottom, flip for a sneak peek. So, I'm going to read a sneak peek, so if you don't want any sneak peeks, now's the time to plug your ears or like tune to a different channel, I don't know. Every August box will include a book sleeve designed by the Quirky Cup Collective. P.S. If you're already a subscriber, your account will automatically renew. Yay. Okay, that's great. So, I'm going to show you the back of this card so you can see some work from the Quirky Cup Collective. These look like images of bookmarks. So let me get a little bit closer so it'll focus. Ooh. All right, it's having a hard time, but like I said, I'll put photos of all of this on Discord. And just trust me that it's a really amazing piece of work here. So that was a really cool box. Uh, just a refresher, we got paper clips, mug, we've got tea, we've got bookmarks, we got a pin, we've got a signed book, we've got a letter from the author, we've got... <laughs> Did I say everything? Paper clips, mark. We got a lot of stuff. It's worth it. It's not bad at all. You're more of a movie potato, not really a bookworm. I'm a bookworm, but unfortunately, my number of hours in a day is very, very limited. So I wish I could read more things faster and more often. Um, perhaps as a day job. That pays well. Like I'm up in my house, maybe. I don't know. Whatever you guys think. But anyway, viewers, thank you for being here. Non-viewers, you can watch this later. You can look at the Discord, that's okay. And I'll probably upload this whole thing to YouTube. And if you're on YouTube and you heard me say that, that means I did this. So, congrats. We did it, everybody.